remember the days when you actually had to take your clothes off to make money. But Chelsea, she's young, gorgeous, and she smells like chop suey. Oh. Confucius say minimal clothing and maximum booty shaking bring down a rain of fortune. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, Carl, and a major boner. More like major disappointment, DJ. You know, I've never seen one of your strippers in a Chinese restaurant uniform. Eh, she knew. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even think she works here. I sure hope so. I sure hope not. She looks like she's about 13 years old. Hey, maybe it's bring your daughter to work day, huh? Oh, how sweet would that be? I certainly wouldn't bring my daughter here. That's because you don't do actual work here, Charles. Shut it, DJ. Don't forget that I got you this job here. <laughs> but they make me work for free. It's called an unpaid internship. Unpaid? Oh, shit. Man, I tell you what, I would pay to work here. You kind of do, Carl. Want another drink? Ah, you know I do, Chels. Put it on my tab. Fortune my cookie. I'm going with plan B. What's the matter, little boat peep? Did you lose your sheep? Um, this is just a stripper outfit. And this is my staff. I bet you can't do much with your staff because it's so small. I'm sure you heard the same thing. Ouch! So, who's in charge around here? Did you see my sign out front? I saw your sign. Are you still hiring girls? I can always hire girls. But what I'm looking for are strippers. Otherwise, this place would just be another Tudor's. Oh? Well, I used to work at a Tudor's, but they had to let me go because I over-serviced the customers. Don't you mean over-served the customers? Nope. You are hired! Hang on, DJ. After what Slippery P did last month, Phil the owner is the only one who can hire out strippers nowadays. Nowadays? Uh, that's right. We had to fire the previous manager. Long story. Yes, very long story. Anyway, so little Bo Peep, I like what I see. You're hired. Our doors open at 7, but please be here at 5 for the pre-shift meeting. Yeah, you should come early so I can uh, show you around. I'm guessing you always come early. <laughs> Ouch! By the way, my name is Victoria. Oh. Excuse me, sir. We don't open until... Are you the owner? Uh, Phil Marsley? Uh, no, sir. I'm Duel. I'm the VIP host. Oh, okay. Well... I am here to apply for the manager position. My deepest apologies. The owner is right this way. Your boss, this young man would like to see you. Excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. Marsley? Are you from the health department? Because I sure hope you brought some rubber gloves. No! I'm actually here to apply for the manager position that the Game Plan Bar has advertised. Game Plan Bar? That's what we use. Oh, right. I'm the owner. The name's Phil. What's your name, kid? Owens. Jordan Owens. You seem a little young, Jordan Owens. I may be young, but I have a lot of restaurant experience, an open mind, and a lot of ideas. You are hired! Hang on, DJ. Oh, that's right. We had to fire the previous manager. <laughs> you had to fire him? Long story. Yes, very long story. Well, we've recently lost a lot of business. And we've had to make some changes around here. Changes? Changes! Look, I own this bar for over 25 years. We've lost a lot of our regulars to those corporate bars. If we didn't make this change, I would have been forced to close those doors forever. Changes? Changes! So, Jordan, my bar used to be a busy neighborhood bar. But these franchise restaurants 
have changed all that. Oh, man, this neighborhood has become nothing but chain restaurants, cookie-cutter bars, and family restaurants. No personality. It's great if you like silly-sounding drinks and a bunch of crap on the walls. Changes! Oh, and inexperienced bartenders. Oh, what the hell, kid? I'm gonna give you this new opportunity. This place is going to be your plan B. Great! That's wonderful, thank you! You're welcome. So, kid, you're now the manager of Plan B, the strip club. Go home, change your clothes, and be back here at five for the pre-shift meet. Strip club? He's not coming back. Hey, Phil, did you really want to hire that kid as a manager? Chelsea, at this point I had to. He's the only one that answered the ad. Okay, girls, according to our online reviews, you all need to take off your clothes much, much faster. Yes, yes. It seems that you all wait till the very end of the song to start taking off your clothes. And one online reviewer wrote that a stripper didn't even begin to take off her clothes until she was walking off the stage. Just remember, music on means clothes off, okay? Shut up, DJ. Okay. And there's been a lot of theft in the dressing room lately. That needs to stop. I am way too busy to go hunting around for your makeup, phone, money, and underwear. Oh, and another thing, girls. When you're giving private lap dances in the champagne room, just remember, there is no... Hey, kid, you showed up. I wasn't sure if this was right for me, but since you gave me a chance, I couldn't let you down. Look, I even bought a new tie. It's a bow tie, just like duels. Nice, kid. So, girls, I'd like you to meet your new manager, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Well, Jordan, you met the bartender, the VIP host, and our DJ. Let me introduce you to our house mom. House mom? I'm Gina, the house mom. What's a house mom? I also run the dressing room. I keep girls from acting up, provide a listening ear, and make sure they are all happy to be here. Let me know if you need anything. You can always trust me. All right, girls. We don't want to scare Jordan away. So, let's get ready, make some money, and be careful out there. Now, Jordan, aside from keeping this club from burning down, you must also collect the house fees from the ladies. What exactly are house fees? All of our dancers have to pay to work here. Okay. I never knew that, but I'll try my best. Good to hear. Listen. I have to take off for a little while. I'm taking one of my divorce attorneys out to dinner. Attorneys? How many times have you been divorced? As many times as I've been married. What did I get myself into? Kid, just make sure you collect the house fees. Put them in the shoebox. Seriously now, without this house money, we're out of business. House fees. We're so screwed. ladies we have a great crowd tonight hello ladies i just want to say let's have a great night always have a positive attitude and remember that our customers are why we are here okay girls if you want anyone to hear you you might want to go into the dressing room you're in the hallway oh and lose the bow tie you look like a fool what did i get myself into Why is that girl in the corner crying? Because she's probably either drunk 
her sugar daddy went back to his wife, or she got a tampon stuck again. Uh, I, um, I have to go check on the bar. Gina, I, I mean mom, I mean house mom. Can you please take care of that? Jordan, you can always trust me. All right, ladies, opening act in five minutes. If anyone's late, it's a $50 fine. Please welcome to the main stage, Candy with an eye. <laughs> yeah, Candy, literally with one eye. <laughs> Oh, shiver me timber. Oh, she blows. Regulars! Jordan, come meet one of our regulars, Carl. Regulars! Hey, Jordan, what's the difference between a waitress and a stripper? I don't know. This is my first night. About two weeks! Ah! Good one, Carl. Let's all do a shot. Regulars! All your customers look really drunk. How much are their tabs? Oh, everyone here are regulars, and they don't have tabs. Regulars! Why don't they have tabs? Are they paying as they go? Of course not. Regulars don't pay for drinks. Regulars! Why don't regulars pay for their drinks? Because if they had to pay for their drinks, they wouldn't be regulars. Regulars! Oh, Jordan. Yes? Don't forget to collect the strippers' house fees tonight. House fees. Remember the owner Phil gave you a shoebox? Ooh! Yeah, the house fees. That is how we make all our money. So, we don't make any money from bar sales? No, silly. We wouldn't make any tips if I charged our customers for drinks. Customer or stripper? A stripper, I hope. What can I get for you, honey? Where's the DJ? He's standing right next to you, sunshine. Are you in charge here? You're up next for the stage. No, I'm the waitress from next door. Next door? No, the Great Walk of China. I'm a waitress there. Okay, guys. All the way from the Great Wall of China. Please welcome one hot dish wasabi. Hey guys, how did we do tonight? I did great tonight. Yeah, good night. Hey Jordan, did you collect those house fees from the girls tonight? I have Bubbles house fee here in my pocket. Very little cash, Jordan. What happened? Um, um... Jordan, you forgot your box in the dressing room. I recounted it and everyone's house fees are here, except for Bubbles. Thanks, house mom. You are a lifesaver. See?
I told you you could always trust me. Why do I get the feeling that you forgot to do something? What do you mean, Phil? Jordan did great tonight. The club didn't burn down. Although I think the strippers did take advantage of you, I have to give you a little credit for getting through your first night. Shots, anyone? What do we toast to? To tomorrow night. Now you're talking. So, Jordan, looks like we'll be seeing you tomorrow? See you tomorrow night at 5 p.m. for our pre-shift meeting. To pre-shift!